we are about eliminating racism and empowering women, and that is the theme and at the core of everything that we do. At the same time, we recognize that our programs are here to meet community needs, and those change. They change as the economy changes. They change as the demographics of our service area changes. So we need to change too in order to be able to help people achieve their full economic and social potential. The YWCA Girls Program was so much fun. <laughs> the whole concept of the program was to reach out to women, to show them that you can go to college despite the situation you're in, and you can achieve your goals. And I want to spread that word, because <laughs> I think it's amazing. <laughs> My mom, has she has a sickness called multiple sclerosis. And her being the breadwinner of the home, it really affects us as a whole. So yeah, I always could go out and get a job, but that wouldn't be enough to finance the education I really want. So when I was told from the YWC about the San Andreas scholarship, I was ecstatic. I was like, I have to get on, I had to apply because if that could help me, that'd be great. And look at where I am today. <laughs> Future for me, it's still up in the air, but I know I want my future to be involved with helping others because I see so many people struggle and I want to be able to do something about it for them. I do want to help teenage girls with peer pressure or even young moms. Just help people in general. Because you give, I can realize my dreams. I joined the Marines, and then next thing you know, flew us straight out into Iraq. And I was there for a good eight months, I believe, until it was time for me to get out. And then once I got out, you know, I started getting back into the mainstream and, you know, met, you know, my kid's mom. And, you know, she was, I guess, okay at first, but then kind of her, you know, she had some mental disabilities and we found out that we were trying to help her and everything but it didn't work out. We were facing eviction and everything and once that happened then family services stepped in and they said they would have to take the children and you know I came here so that I could get them back out of foster care so you know yes they mean a lot to me. Yeah, you gotta start small. The solitude helps, um, you know, knowing that you have some goals and things that you need to do and you can plan them and plot them. And, you know, the staff here really helps you with that stuff. They're, they're always asking you about it, like, where are you goals? What you trying to do? And, you know, we're going to help you. And, and they really help out. If you're, you seem like you're more driven to do it, then they will give you their air anytime. It's awesome. <laughs> because they were seem like the only place that, that I've seen that could help. Because you give, I have a second chance. I flip-flopped through most of my childhood years between my, my mom and my dad. You know, my mom, she had a boyfriend, but I would live with them. Um, they, they weren't the cleanest of people. Um, you know, I, I would be made fun of at school because there was roaches or, you know, fleas and stuff like that. I mean, it was so messy. My bedroom was a walk-in closet. Um, I turned that into my bedroom because it was pretty much the only place that I could keep clean and kind of to myself. And um, I didn't want to be the same parent that mine were to me. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was open to the kids, that they know what's going on in the world, you know, that they know that they can talk to me about anything, even if it's something that I'll get angry at, you know. Um, and so that's how we've been, we've been going all this time. Ooh, there's some more. You know, when I found this place and I found that they take the whole family, it, it was a blessing. Since being here, my relationship with my kids has become a lot stronger. I know that we'll have a place to, to lay our heads. And honestly, you know, some people may think that this isn't the nicest of neighborhoods, but this is probably going to be the safest place I ever live in my whole life. <laughs> when we 
get a place again they're gonna remember this and I think that being here has brought us all a lot closer because you give my children and I have new possibilities Perhaps it's an overused cliche, if you will, but it takes a village, it really does. And not just to raise our children, but to lift our communities. Um, and when you, know, you have households in a community that are healthy, financially, mentally, socially, that has a ripple effect on all the other homes, all the other apartments, all the other people that cross in and out of your community. Um, so by lifting, helping to lift one household up, you have a ripple effect on everybody that's around them and everybody that that household comes in contact with. And ultimately, that benefits you. So an investment in the YW really and it's an investment in yourself.